to be a master Don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you gon' find yourself Standing in the Hall of Fame Yeah And the world's gonna know your name Yeah Hey y'all, how's it going? Chance here, uh, gonna do a little commentary over these few workout clips I got from uh, this leg day. All right, so I started out this leg day, I started out doing some squats. Uh, I haven't gone really heavy on squats. I've been trying to focus on more of my form and just trying to get uh, 185 for more reps. And so today I decided I was gonna push my limits and go heavy and see how many I could get 225 for. So I did a couple warm up sets. I did 135 for a couple of sets, 185 for two sets, uh, hit that for two sets of 12, and then I did uh, 205 for a set of 12, and I said, all right, let me go and hit 225. So I put 225 on, and I was feeling good, uh, trying to make sure I kept my back, kept my chest up, keep my back straight, and the only flaw I noticed really on these squats is that my knees keep shooting out. So I'm gonna try and focus on trying to bring my knees in, but, I wound up hitting this for 10 reps. That was a new PR for me, guys. I was so excited after doing this. And so next week, I'm gonna try and hit 10 reps again and go for a little bit better form. All right, guys, so after going heavy on some squats and hitting the new PR, I decided to go ahead and test my strength on my hamstrings as well. So what I did, I did uh, isolated hamstring curls or leg curls. And I uh, started out, I did two plates to warm up. And then I moved on to three plates for a set of 12. And then, I, or by plates, I mean 25s because you can't put a 45 on this machine. Not unless you stack a couple of 25s first. But I was feeling good. Strength was feeling there. But one of my goals is to max out this machine, like be able to do four plates, maybe even three and a 45 for about 10 reps. So, because just because I'm really, I tend to be very strong at hamstring movements. I don't know why, but that's one of my stronger movements. But I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of these raw clips so y'all can see what happens. And I'll check back with y'all with my post-workout meal. Because you're going to want to see this bowl of deliciousness. What's up guys, I'm back from the gym. I'm about to have a post-workout meal. And I've discovered the secret to a post-workout meal. All right, now you know you wanna keep your fats low, protein high, carbs high, or protein moderate when you're bulking. You wanna do about 25, 30 grams or so after. Cause you already had your shake and you already had your Sour Patch Kids after your workout. So you still wanna hit some more carbs, some whole food sources. So what I do is I like to mix all the good shit in a bowl, all right? I take all, I take just like all my favorite healthy foods, I guess you would say, mix them in a bowl, and I promise you that shit's gonna be good. So, what we're working with today, all right, got my favorite rice going. All right, I'm gonna try and break this down for you. So, I tried to separate the foods, kind of show you what's what, but the rice got covered up because this is so much food. All right, so underneath 
all this deliciousness is 90 grams of weighed out dry of basmati rice that's two servings and then right here we have four ounces of grilled chicken cooked with cavenders on the grill we got uh like green bean i'm fingering right there uh that is 90 grams of green beans i got my tomatoes over here this is this ain't just any tomatoes guys this is canned rotel all right that's the best tomatoes you can freaking get all right so it's to actually tomatoes and green chilies so we got one serving of rotel it's 130 grams adds extra five carbs and then right here i'm starting to do this i'm starting to throw more beans into my meals guys all right so i was using black beans but we ran out of black beans so i kind of searched the closet see what i could find and luckily we had my next favorite refried beans what's up traditional refried beans it says the mashed potato mexican food and if you grew up on taco bell and mexican food like i did refried beans are the shit all right so this right here that's just one serving of refried beans and this is the traditional kind sitting fat free we're keeping some fats in it all right we did 130 grams adds an extra two and a half fat 22 carb got some fiber in there fiber game strong and some seven grams of protein so six grams what the what the hell is my camera doing all right focus do this all right. whatever it's got six grams of fiber seven grams of protein going in that and then i topped everything off with my favorite mr dash tomato basil garlic bet you mix all this stuff together i got i got mexican i got asian from the rice I think Basmati's Asian, I don't know. Uh, I got green beans for my veggies, beans for my veggies. That's Mexican. I think Rotel's, Rotel's probably still Mexican. The can looks like it. And then we got Greek on my chicken from the Cavender's Greek seasoning. What's up? Mixing it all together, throwing it all in one bowl. It's gonna be freaking delicious. Enjoy this. And I'm gonna post the macro for this meal right now.